I was recently with the Santa Monica and uh, there's a Christian groups out there sometimes with this table set up and a projector and uh, they have people ask them questions uh, they wouldn't let me ask a question you know I think it's uh, rigged I think they have uh, somebody from their group that asks a question they say well he's gonna ask it for you I said no, well let me ask it they wouldn't let me ask any questions and then they told me to get out but they had this uh, fool up there that says uh, since he accepted Jesus Christ that he can do it or no matter what he does he's going to be saved so in other words he's, t he's teaching a doctrine of demons that he can commit any sin he wants he can do anything he wants just like Satan says you see and then he's going to be saved isn't it funny how they mix devil teachings with the Bible to deceive and of course the devil used the Bible to deceive also but their purpose is to, to steal, to slay, and to destroy, destroy men's souls. And they call themselves Christians. I'm not sure what group it was. It might have been Calvary Chapel. They're out there all the time doing foolishness like this. Stupid. Anyway, um, it seems to me that people that are desperate in these times and they don't have any integrity they are drawn to these groups that have no righteousness no integrity no love of truth no love of God but are disciples of Satan and they're doing the works of Satan you know it reminds me of a parable that Jesus gave about the end of the world and how people would be separated one from another he talks about the, the good seed and the bad seed. The tares are the weeds and the wheat, the good seed. In verse 30 of Matthew 13, he says, Let both grow together unto, until the harvest. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles to burn them. But gather the wheat into my barn. You see, the wheat is not being gathered first. The tares are fat, gathered first. And then in Matthew 24, Jesus says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, will he send forth his angels with the great sound of the trumpet to gather his chosen together from the four winds, from the four corners of the earth and the heavens. So, uh, you want to join these groups? Don't beware of them, because they're 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 following doctrines of demons, you know. So don't join them. And uh, uh, you know, I was I it, it got me uh, mad. I want to go in there, and, but I know that they would never let me speak in there. They have their own setup, and they are there to deceive and to destroy men's souls. In fact, in this day, it's, you know, it's good to stay independent. You know, we love freedom. Christians, we love freedom. We don't want somebody telling us that we have to dress like a Pharisee. Uh, we don't want somebody telling us uh, uh, how to act. God tells us how to act. He gives us his commandments. And they're all done in love. It's not, it's not an act, you see. We don't need to have, be told how to act. Like Adam he wasn't given a whole bunch of list things that to act. Just keep the commandments. And this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. You see, then you have the love of the God of God. Jesus didn't walk around like a little fairy princess sprinkling fairy dust around. He spoke strongly and with authority. And they hated him for that. They wanted a little princess to walk around. Neither did Jesus threaten people with violence. That wasn't, that wasn't his time for that. It's a much stronger man that goes into a fight without a sword, without a gun. The weak ones, the cowards, want to bring a gun to protect themselves because they're afraid for their life. But it takes a stronger man to suffer as Jesus suffered. To be vulnerable, without defense, without a, a physical defense. 
And as a lamb brought to the slaughter, he was slaughtered. And he allowed himself to be that. And it, and it, it might look to others like he's weak. But believe me, it takes much, much more strength of character and courage to let God's will be done and to suffer right for righteousness sake without thought for your own body and soul. Yeah, so that's, um, that's what Jesus did. I'm, I'm discouraged in these times. Not discouraged, but... Um, the way people are are going with Satan, man, it's just unbelievable. And they believe all the kind of lies and things that people might tell about you. They're being deceived by the devil big time now. And I encourage everybody to don't let your weakness cave in to follow these false teachers. Be it's rather rather you be alone. In the Bible, Jesus says. I know you will all leave me, and yet I am not alone, because my Father is with me. In the Psalms, it's written how uh, God has taken lover and friend, has removed them from me. The devil wants to isolate us to think we're going to give in. But no matter how much you're isolated, you don't give in to the devil, you see, because God is with you. If you are keeping his commandments and loyal to him, don't be feel Feel weakness to give in. Don't give in. Keep him. Keep him by your side and keep his commandments. This is a weird thing that's going on. This devil, especially in the United States, where people are have a plenty, but their souls are empty. And this emptiness of souls makes people desperate and makes them spiritually lost and delusional. And they go off and shoot in wrong directions. And that's why there's so much weirdness and disgustingness and lostness and patheticness we see in this country. Poorer countries where they don't have all this luxury but people stick together and pray together. And they know one another. They don't put on an act with each other. They know each other. There's no need for any act. But don't be afraid. Fear not. That's the thing the devil tries to coerce you with. To make you do what he wants. And to get you into his grip. He uses fear. But fear them not, Jesus Christ says. Rather fear him who can kill the body and the soul. Don't fear them that can only kill the body. So stay faithful. And keep the commandments. And keep your integrity and you will be of value not only to those that are still keeping their integrity because there are them. You will save your own soul too.